All right, guys, brand of Therapeutic Fragrance. Thanks for checking out the channel. Atelier Musan. A couple more from the house to go. Love the presentation of these. Same distributor does the uh, brand we're doing today. Auto Madeline, Opaze, the Florida Alja. Color, we got color on the juice. Taking this with me a lot. Check out the review, guys. Opes de Flor Orange have been featured a lot on the channel. Uh, they had a lot of unique uh, notes uh, to get used to the perfumer. Ode Madeline, $156 for 100 ml. 70 feminine, 30 basket. I believe you can find this on Amazon, by the way. Ode Parfum, build as an Oriental. 3.6 out of 5 on Frank Granica. Jean-Claude Goudat is the perfumer, the nose behind these, launched in 2015. All right, let's get into this uh, fragrance. I only have a couple more from the house. Extensively went through this house. Uh, it's not something I've seen a lot of. That's a main reason. So I'm like, okay, I can put my head to... I didn't ever watch a review of the house ever. Uh, I did that on purpose because this is a study about my composition, my nose, and me just letting you guys into that. Just let you watch me do it. Don't know why, but I am letting you watch me do it. It st starts off with a citrus. The citrus is right there on top with a very dirty undertone. Very dirty undertone right from the beginning of my skin. Everything seems to be fighting to come out of this perfume. Every note at once just seems to be like, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. It wants to be heard, smelled, and, and that kind of thing, which is very unusual for the perfumer. It, it, what I've been through. Glad I didn't try this one first. This is why the samples are so key to houses and to go through one by one, because you never know what you're gonna get off your skin and off the perfume. Uh, the, the house has definitely overperformed my expectations for what I thought it was versus price versus not seeing it ever. And the hype train and, and all this stuff, it, it's overperformed uh, for what I thought. So that's it, why I tried this one. The reason I'm reviewing this one is this guy's a master at the dry down. He really thinks about the dry down, which is unusual because perfumers, they want that cell up front. So they, you know, they don't want, like, most perfumers care less about the dry down, honestly. Uh, they just want that cell up front, get the test strip, get there, buy it, they're done. This is one where I had to really sit back. Okay, what is the perfumer trying to accomplish? Here? Let's read the story. Let's look up. The marketing, let's let's let the, let him tell me because this opening is quite frankly I could not stand it at all. Muddled, shouting, confusing, not blended. The the leather came out on the top, usually transitioned to it. That's the beauty of the dry down, though. That that's why it was so nice of a dry down. But at the beginning, muddled everything, so you have about a good hour or more. That's on my skin to get through a heavy top. After that hour, it starts to fade into something really good, really leathery, a leather incense that that uh, is good. Everything starts burning off. You start getting a hard, decent leather. You start getting a picture of the perfumer. I see why a lot of citrus notes aren't used on top of leathers. Usually, uh, if you're using, have a heavy leather, it just, they just, Really don't go together good. I can see why raspberry was used in Tuscan leather. It, it, it complements it. It, 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 it way better than the citrus here. The citrus just it was foul. But I would say a couple hours in, as the heart develops a little more, you're left with a darn good leather. A white musk is the back to the leather. So soft, clean little bit fresh, pairs perfectly with an incense on top in the heart. Little bit of rose plays on top of there. You get your rose note. A tad bit of vanilla, not a, a leather vanilla that you're used to. Not muddled either, just a resinous vanilla. Not not too uh, slightly there. Not, not heavy. It's a resinous vanilla smell. 
and slightly there. Makes it a little bit sweet with uh, everything else going on. I really don't know if I could ever get past the top and wear this all the time to get to this point. This is a really, 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 really good leather. I'm not just saying that. Uh, this is top-notch leather. I see a lot of ladies liking this leather. It's more of a feminine one, but uh, it, the, the, the QR smell of it is just very good. Uh, if you can get past the top, you literally, I can, I know why it has a low score for granted. I can see it right away. I see people just smell this and literally wash in their skin until it's off and not get to this point ever. He spends a lot of time you can tell his concentration of the dry down he spent here in the perfumer to get the leather in. Uh, it, it's over an eight hour wearing, so over four hours was this nice leather. If he could re rework the top, this would be a fantastic overall fragrance for the house. I hope he goes back to the drawing board and flankers it or does something to the top there to really uh, let this, because you can't, to get this nice of leather, he's using so much, it, it does ruin the top because you don't get the fade. It, it, that's how strong it is, but something else needs to be used on top of what he's using. And unfortunately, I don't see many people. I unfortunately I don't see many people waiting this out, waiting out the top to get to this point. So, yeah, that's it's unfortunate for the fragrance. Scoring on Madeline, a pays the floor to Omager, eight out of fifteen for originality. Projection to Yash four out of five. Longevity four out of five. Composition sixteen out of twenty five. Ingredients price to melt. 18 out of 25, top heart base, top five out of 10, heart four out of five, base nine out of 10, total score of 68. The, the dry down literally redeemed the score. Um, my mind was made up to put this in the 50s until that little leather came through and it was that bad. But the finish was that good to where I brought this out of the 50s. And it made it worth uh, at least sample for you guys to try it for yourselves. Where do I see this being worn? Honky Tonk Bars. All year long. Honky Tonks are open all, all year long. If you haven't been, you gotta check them out. They're fun. Nashville downtown, nothing like it. Who do I see wearing this one? A cowgirl. Who's in the dirt, likes to get dirty. Three to five sprays for me. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out my journey. Studying compositions. Peace out, guys. Be blessed.